Hello, everybody. Welcome to Watch Creative Biolabs video. Today we will learn some basic knowledge of an emerging cancer therapeutic technology, which is antibody drug conjugates or more commonly called, ADC. As we know, traditional cancer therapy includes three major parts, surgical resection, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Chemotherapy utilizes cytotoxic chemicals to kill tumor cells. These cytotoxic chemicals are nonspecific which have potent tumor cell killing activity along with side effects of normal tissue damage, so that must be carefully used on their own. A century ago, a German physician proposed the concept of magic bullet, which have the ability of selectively delivering a cytotoxic drug into tumor cell via targeting agent. With the development of immune technology, and concept of immunotherapy put forward, we have known that antibody could be used as the targeting agent of this magic bullet. Monoclonal antibody has high specificity and anti-tumor activity but not sufficiently cytotoxicity. It combines with cytotoxic chemical drugs, forms and antibody drug conjugates. ADC is a new class of highly potent biopharmaceutical drugs, composed of an antibody linked by a chemical linker, to a biologically active drugs or cytotoxic compounds. There are three major building blocks of ADC, a highly selective monoclonal antibody, a short piece of linker molecule, and a potent cytotoxic agent as drug. Monoclonal antibody targets the disease-specific biomarker. Linker molecule connects antibody with drug molecules. Potent cytotoxic agents induce target cell death after being internalized and released in the tumor cell. Each of these three parts plays a specific role and functions together as a whole. The mechanism of action of antibody drug conjugates is not much complicated. Generally speaking, it is an ADC endocytosis and intracellular degradation process which contains six different steps. ADC accesses to the tumor side through the blood circulation. First, the antibody part of ADC recognizes the specific antigen markers expressed on the tumor cell surface, allowing ADC to bind to the tumor cell. Subsequently, cell membrane, in vaginates to form an endocytic vesicle, which entraps the ADC antigen complex together into the cytoplasm. This endocytic vesicle is called endosome which then transports and fuses with another vesicular organelle called lysosome. During this step, ADCs are transported into lysosome, unbinding receptors are transported back to cell surface through recycling endosome. Under a low pH and the action of lysosomal enzymes, ADCs are degraded, and the loaded cytotoxic drugs are released into cytosol. Finally, the activated drugs kill the target cells by disrupting the microtubule assembling or by modifying DNA molecule to affect their gene expression. After understanding the mechanism of ADC, it is not hard to explain the following key features which an excellent ADC should have. For the antibody parts of ADC, high tumor cell selectivity ensures their specificity and low off-target toxicity. Appropriate stability is needed to ensure adequate ADC molecule reach the tumor site, rather than be degraded during circulation. The stability of link molecule should be controllable. Sufficient linker stability is necessary to enable the conjugate circulate in the bloodstream for an extended period of time before reaching the tumor site, without prematurely releasing the free drug and potentially damaging normal tissue. Once the ADC is internalized within the tumor, the linker should be labeled enough to efficiently release the active free drug. The drug should be cytotoxic enough to ensure target cell death is effectively induced. Finally, the whole ADC molecule should have low immunogenicity and be as much homogeneous as possible to ensure the overall drug efficacy. As discussed above, high tumor cell selectivity is very important for the specificity of ADC. Numerous tumor-associated antigens were discovered as ADC target biomarkers. Some of them and their corresponding indications are listed in this table. Besides biomarker, Immunoglobulin formats are also impact the ADC efficacy. IgG1 is the most commonly used antibody subtype in ADC development. Its ability of binding to FC receptor makes IgG1 ADC have inherent effective function, such as activation of macrophage phagocytosis, or antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxic effects. IgG2 and IgG4 are also used in ADC, but they lack of FC-mediated function. While IgG3 is the only subtype that not yet to be used in ADC development. The two main classes of ADC link are currently being explored, 
take advantage of different mechanisms for release of the drug payload from the antibody. The first is a cleavable linker strategy, with three different types of release mechanism within this class. Lysosomal protease sensitive linkers, it utilizes lysosomal proteases such as cathepsin B that recognize and cleave a dipeptide bond to release the free drug from conjugate. Acid sensitive linkers take advantage of the low pH in the lysosomal compartment to trigger hydrolysis of an acid labial group within the linkers such as a hydrazine and release the drug. Glutathione sensitive linkers exploits the higher concentration of thions, such as glutathione inside the cell relative to the blood. Disulfide bonds could be reduced by intracellular glutathione to release the drug. The second strategy is one that uses non cleavable linkers. This approach depends on completed degradation of the antibody after internalization, resulting in release of the free drug with the linker attached to an amino acid residue from the AMA B. This strategy is best applied to drugs that are capable of exerting their anti tumor effect, despite being chemically modified. For most ADCs and clinical development use a controlled chemical reaction, with specific amino acid residues exposed on the surface of the AMA B, gives the results of a mixture ADC species with variable drug antibody ratio. This heterogeneity must be minimizing during the development. In the overall design, selection of appropriate conjugation strategy significantly impacts the efficacy, PK and tolerability of ADC. The random conjugation processes covenantly join drugs to the antibody through an amino acid residue side chain of lysine or existing disulfide bonds. For the next generation ADC, scientists focus on the development of homogeneous products derived from site-specific conjugation. Currently, three strategies are at the forefront. Insertion of cysteine residues in the antibody sequence by mutation or insertion. Insertion of an unnatural amino acid with a bioorthogonal reactive handle, and enzymatic conjugation as described in the scheme. There are also two main classes of ADC payloads undergoing clinical evaluation. The first class comprises drugs that disrupt microtubule assembly, and play an important role in mitosis. This class includes dilastatin 10 based oristatin analogs and metanzenoids. The second class of payloads consists of compounds that target DNA structure and includes collagiomycin analogs such as myelotarc, that bind the minor groove of DNA causing DNA double strand cleavage to induce apoptotic cell death. The development of ADCs has benefited from general improvements in the design of therapeutic MABs, and from specific improvements in methods for conjugate synthesis, through which enhanced homogeneity can be achieved. It is essential to gain a better understanding of the determinants of toxicity of ADCs, either as single agents or in combination with other therapies. To increase the therapeutic index of ADCs, improvements have to be made either in the potency of the cytotoxic agent to lower the minimum effective dose, or in tumor selectivity to increase the maximum tolerated dose. The synthesis and characterization of more homogeneous and stable ADCs with medicinal chemistry-like control over their macromolecular structure, is of paramount importance for the clinical success of next-generation ADCs. ADCs are next-generation precision medicines that target specific surface antigens and fight diseases by delivering cytotoxic payload drugs into the antigen-bearing cells. Creative Biolabs and our collaborators are equipped with state-of-the-art research and manufacturing facilities and our advanced technical platforms cover crucial stages in ADC development. Our special PT links platform generating ADCs using a short non-cleavable linker with a platinum core. This novel short linker provides the ADC with good blood stability and highly specialized conjugation chemistry to the his residues. Based on PT links platform, we provide our clients feature services, including ADC antibody screening, custom synthesis, antibody design and conjugation, ADC in vitro analysis, ADC in vivo analysis, antibody-based probes, and ADC manufacturing service. With our integrated global resources in all aspects, our one-stop ADC development services will provide you with a platform that could exponentially speed up the process of ADC development, from ADC formulation to clinical evaluation, and ultimately promote science for the cause of a better tomorrow. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more detailed information about ADC technology, 
please do not hesitate to contact us by email or visit our website. We are more than happy to help you with your ADC project.